Have you ever wondered how people get those awesome videos on Instagram? How they're all nice and neat and vertical and you can see so much more than just this little square video that you record on your iPhone? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna be teaching you today, so stay tuned for today's tutorial. What's going on everyday people? I'm Chad Everyday and welcome to today's tutorial on how to do vertical photos in Final Cut in preparation for your Instagram feed. If you're new to this channel and would like to learn more about photo and video, Photoshop, Lightroom, Final Cut Pro, Instagram, and all the above, then go ahead and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with the latest content. Also, if you're into learning about today's video, go ahead and show your support by leaving a thumbs up. So let me tell you a couple things really quickly. I've learned that in your stories, creating videos that are about 28 seconds or less work really effectively, and it's a great way for you to be able to tell a story that's gonna be temporary. This is gonna encourage people to look at your stories and to have more engagement there, and you can also provide useful information by putting text over those videos once you get it uploaded to your story. Now the Instagram grid feed, for example, if you want to create a video there, you could do about 60 seconds or less. But without further ado, let's hop into today's tutorial. So creating this vertical video is actually really simple. So after you've done all the editing to your video, all you have to do is make a compound clip. So let's just go ahead and compound everything together when we're totally done and ready to go. And then what we need to do from this point is make sure we select our project here and you can click that by going up to this section and then clicking on your main project where you've created these files. And then over here where it says modify, we wanna change this aspect ratio. So right now it's 1920 by 1080 at 23.9 frames per second. So we're gonna modify this. Now in the video format section, what you wanna do is hit custom. Now you wanna change your custom resolution to 1080 by 1350 and you can actually leave the 23.9 the same so go ahead and click OK so now what it's going to do is actually alter your video footage so you're going to see there's some black bars on the top and the bottom and it's kind of pushed all the video footage in so we have to do a little bit more editing so get into the transform section of your video editor go ahead and highlight that to make sure it's selected and then what we need to do is to scale all so what you want to do is scale this by about 230 percent and see if that fits pretty good. We're gonna change our view up just a little bit so that way we can see everything. Now what you can do is review the clip and make sure that the framing is set exactly where you want, but if you do wanna move it around before you export this, all you have to do is simply slide this over. So once it's slid over, then you can determine if that's where you want it to be and if you're happy with everything, at this point you're done. So what I'm gonna do is just start back at the beginning of the clip. I'm gonna to go to export this I'm gonna do Apple devices 1080p and then I'm gonna have the menu come up and we're just gonna do this as the vertical tutorial and then we're just gonna double check our settings really quickly make sure everything looks good back here and we're all set so let's go ahead and share this to our desktop and then what I'm gonna do is open up airdrop so the way you use airdrop with your iPhone is just make sure Bluetooth is enabled on your iPhone and make sure that you've already set all this up. If you don't know how to use AirDrop, you can find some videos on that online, but essentially my cell phone's gonna pop up here and then I'm just gonna slide this movie file from my computer to my phone. It takes just a few seconds and it's actually gonna show up in the photos section of my iPhone. So from that point, you can just upload it to Instagram normally, how you would any other photo or video or anything else. So guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video. If you'd like to learn more about Final Cut, Adobe Photoshop, or Adobe Lightroom, be sure to check out some of the other videos that are currently on my channel for information on that. Be sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And as always, be sure to create something new today. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>